she set record after record, race after race. Penny Alexiak's seven Olympic medals represent the highest tally for a single athlete in Canada's history. It is honestly pretty crazy. I don't think I've been able to really take it all in yet. And Alexiak has the gold medal! It is a lot to take in. From four medals at the 2016 Rio Games to three more here in Tokyo. And while her name gets its own line in the record book, she doesn't stand alone. After setting the record, Alexiak tweeted, Trust me at the top, it isn't lonely. A nod to Canadian music icon Drake, but more importantly, her teammates. Just knowing that all these girls are all here with one goal, and that's to achieve things together. Brittany McLean knows firsthand what it's like to win with Alexiak. I think to have a Canadian athlete achieve success that no one's ever done before and have it be a swimmer is extra special, and to have it be a teammate for me is... Uh, is really surreal. McLean says what separates Alexiak is her determination. Her parents remember her at just age nine, competing in a push-up contest full of older kids. And her hand slipped out and she fell down and she broke a tooth. Well, she picked up the tooth in one hand, then continued doing push-ups and actually won the competition. I mean, it, it sounds like one of those kind of myth stories. Alexiak grew up in East Toronto. People from her high school neighborhood were immensely proud. Everyone's really excited, all the more so around here, because she went to Monarch Park, my neighbor taught her, so everybody knows about her here. The women are killing it at the Olympics and, you know, something for her to watch um, and aspire to. It's, it's fantastic. Alexiak broke a three-way tie with Cindy Clausen and Clara Hughes, each with six Olympic medals. She's excited to be an example for future generations. You just see so many girls supporting girls, which I absolutely adore, and I'm just so happy. At 21, Alexiak has already surpassed expectations in a sport where champions peak in later years. This isn't like a, you know, a final swan song. Dale Manukduk, CBC News, Toronto.